Hey everyone, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing Freight Train by Elizabeth Cotton. Well, this is a song that was written over a hundred years ago by Elizabeth Cotton, somewhere between 1906 and 1912, very early 20th century, and just amazing, before the blues was really recorded, of course, but the blues was sort of happening in Mississippi and other places in the South, and <laughs> this is proof of it. It's just a, a truly great song, kind of in the style of Mississippi John Hurt with a lot of Travis picking. So there's been countless covers of this. Um, you know, Chet Atkins and Tommy Emanuel have covered this and their version is a little bit more jazzy. And then you've got other versions out there. Julian Lodge uh, did this early on in his career. So um, check out all the interpretations out there. But what I want to do is stick to the way she played it. Now, I do not mean technically speaking with how she played it finger style because uh, she played up with the strings upside down something that i don't have experience with but we can transcribe how she played it um, note for note and essentially be uh, fairly accurate even though we're playing with the strings like this so um, pretty remarkable she's playing the bass with her index and the melody with her thumb so just amazing. Um, now, we're gonna pretty much stick to what she did. Lucky for us, at the beginning, the notes are pretty simple because they're all in the downbeats. And they're actually half notes, so long melody notes that are on the downbeat. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's all downbeats right there. So even though my thumb is cooking, my fingers aren't necessarily having to work too hard yet. That'll change, of course. And slow would be, see every two thumb movements I'm doing a melody. And then it changes there. Then, you know, then she starts doing some filler notes. We have both, the best of both worlds. We have a simple start to the song and then we can kind of start cooking. Uh, she has this awesome lick here in the original recording. Uh, uh, she is switching to that G7, so it's kind of, you can also just ignore that and just go, just stay there, or you could do as she did, and go to this G7 here. So it's a bit of a switcheroo there, but it's not too bad. So yeah, just a classic staple. Anyone who uh, truly loves, you know, Travis picking or blues or, you know, sort of rootsy style guitar playing, this is a lesson for you you know, great melody, great chord progression, just a three chord song basically. Uh, actually, no, four chords because you do have the E7. There are some versions where you can spice in this chord and stuff. So what I'll do is on the Patreon, maybe I'll throw a, a version up that's got a couple more tweaks to it, uh, including, you know, you can do this thing here where it's uh, F. You can go there before you go back to the C. Uh, you can do other things. Chet Atkins does a D minor seven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, not write that one out because that's a whole different style. So we'll stick to the more rootsy bluesy sound on this. Go ahead and check out the Patreon where there'll be a tab of this written out. Really appreciate your support there. It means a ton and uh, helps so much in supporting the channel. Do subscribe, hit the bell icon, the thumbs up. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so I forgot to mention that this song is actually in standard D. So everything is tuned down a whole step uh, this won't be the case for the lesson because I don't want any barrier 
of entry just you know before you play a single note um, you should be able to just play it in standard tuning here where you're at uh, but for my demo and for Elizabeth Cotton's live and studio versions everything's tuned down a whole step so my recommendation is learn it here with me in standard just pick up your guitar and learn it um, and then when you get things kind of going then tune down try playing along with my demo uh, at a quicker speed or of course Elizabeth Cotton's versions and um, that's kind of my recommendation it's really fun to go to that low standard D everything's nice and bassy uh, but it's kind of a lot of work just before you even learn the song so that's why we're in standard here and then when you're ready go ahead and tune down now um, we have Travis picking so I like to isolate the thumb okay uh, I would say this is on the more intermediate side it's not super advanced but it's also not super beginner so it's somewhere in the middle and the beginning is actually more on the beginner side that's pretty doable for any level so uh, then things start heating up and then it's you know getting into more intermediate so why don't we just start with the thumb here we're gonna go on the C chord we want to get this movement pretty comfortable that's gonna be fifth fourth sixth fourth and you could even just warm up on that right now try to be even and in rhythm Okay, then uh, when we go to a G chord, it's going to be 6th, 4th, 6th, 4th, 6th, 4th, until it goes to G7, then you're going to want to go like this, 3 and 3, with these fingers, and that part can be a little bit uh, of, a, of a challenge at first, but then you're back to the C, okay? When it goes to E7, it's 6th and 4th. When it goes to F, I really recommend using the thumb if you can. I rarely use the thumb, uh, except on an F. Uh, but it, it is nice for a finger style um, approach. So you could also just bar up to you. So I'm gonna do thumb here, sixth, fourth strings, and then back to C, and to G, and then C. Okay, so that's the thumb. Now as we add the fingers, the thumb is just gonna keep going. So. Here we go with the intro before she sings. Okay, so the melody is third fret first string. So that's done with the pinky there. And then it goes open. And then third fret second string. And then first fret. Notice every two bass notes those melody notes are happening. So those are half notes. Okay, good. Now G, and we want the G where we play it like this because we're going to need our first finger for the first fret. So we're going to go sixth and second string, and then first string, then immediately to first fret, first string. So that's okay. Now we start doing some filler notes. So now it gets a little bit more complicated. So let's cover that so far. Three, four. Alright, so after we go, not too bad, so thumb is going along, third, second, in between the thumbs. So it's thumb, thumb, third, thumb, second, thumb. Alright, good. Alright, so now we have a little pattern here. This is where it delves away from beginner, so you could... Skip, skip to the verse which will be uh, easier just like the intro but this is you know what she did on the recording really cool stuff so here we go that's the basic pattern so it's thumb first string thumb third string repeat on a G7 repeat on a G7 again but this time we want first string open and this G7 and this is what she's doing it's also optional, you can just ignore this and go like this. Let me start with the beginner. Okay, that's fine, but we're gonna do it her way. After this, go ahead and go like this. Third fret with the middle, third fret with the ring, six and four strings, and then you do your pattern. Bass, first string open, bass, third string open, 
Now pinky on third fret second string, and we go bass second string, bass third string open. Okay, so that's the whole thing. One more time, three, four. At speed, three, four. It's kind of tricky. And then C, melody, third fret, first string, and then open. Okay, now a little filler. Bass, third, bass, second, and then walk down, three, one, oh. She doesn't do this on every version, but she does it on the live versions a lot, so. We're gonna do that. All right, so that's gonna lead us to the E7. That's a lot right there. Let's do this slowly, the whole thing. Nice and slow, ready? Three, four. Good, okay. If you if you're doing some variation of that, that's fine. As long as you're in rhythm of the song, you can throw in a couple notes extra or take a few out or change the uh, time that it happens. That's part of the fun. So now on E7, okay, this is what she pretty much did live. It really mimics her vocal well. So that would be bass and then, you know, bass again with the first string. And even though you're not needing these strings yet, I would just have this ready. Um, so at E7 here, O2, O1, 3, O, and you're going to go bass, first, bass, first, bass, first, bass, third string, bass. Now an optional bend. You could just not bend it, um, but it's kind of cool. She does it half the time, like, you know, on some live versions she does, on some others she doesn't. I'm going to throw it in there, so it's optional. Uh, one more time, sorry. Okay, then F, and if the fourth string's kind of muted, that's fine when you're doing that move. Now F with the thumb, so you could just bar it, but then we can't do this hammer on that she's doing. So try this, uh, bass with second string, bass, bass, and then as you right before you do the bass, or in between the basses, you hammer on, and you land while you hit the thumb, so it's like, second string. Sorry. That's what a tempo it sounds like. Really cool move. Bass, bass, second, bass, third fret with the pinky, bass. Alright. So that's, uh, let's do that from the F. And then your C. First string, bass, third, bass, second, bass. Now, let me just play this and describe it here. Okay, that's a pretty tough as well. So that would be first string, third, second. Now hammer to second string while you hit the G. So this is kind of a G now, but it's like a C over G. So you hammer land on the bass, second fret, second string, bass, third, bass, second, pinky, third fret, and then back to your C, second string, like that, second string, third, second, second, third, all right, so I know that's a lot, so let's run the whole thing nice and slow, three, four. Okay. 
All right, great. Now when she starts singing, there's a few changes. Very subtle, but uh, we want to do them because it makes our job easier. So everything's the same at the beginning. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. All the same. So now the G is going to be much like the C, just all on the downbeat. So it's like... So same notes, but just a much easier rhythm. Third, fr uh, third fret, first fret, open, third fret, see? Now C. Okay, and then she kind of does this hammer on, so we add that in. After you do your C, you kind of hammer on to the first fret, uh, land on the, on the bass there. And then everything's the same. All the same. So the ending's a little different uh, once she's singing. It's more like this. Let's see here. It's. Okay, so that's first string, third, second, just like before. But then we're just going to land like that. First fret, second string. Go to pinky. Don't worry about the G7, just this is fine to match the melody. And then C, second string, third string, now a little bass riff. That's open, third, open, back to C, and then your C riff. So the whole verse would be three, four. Freight train, freight train. how it's much e much more even on the verse so it really matches the melody um, there's an alternate version of how to play this with a few more uh, tricks on the patreon but that should do it I wanted to keep it real simple um, I know it doesn't seem simple but you know there's actually versions out there that are a bit more complicated so this is sort of how she did it very early you know blues style finger picking so enjoy hopefully that makes sense and is clear and we're to practice very slow Metronomes are great on songs like this, and more than anything, enjoy. See you next time.